The biggest box office flop ever. Scenes that cost more than entire films and millions of dollars of supercars trashed. All this and more coming up. Brilliant news. Number one, War and Peace. This is not the 1956 version with Audrey Hepburn and Henry Fonda, although it seems that the success of that film and the tension between the USSR and the USA may have led the Soviets wanting to make their own cinematic version of the classic Russian novel by Leo Tolstoy. The 1966 Russian version is a four-part film series with a total runtime of 431 minutes. According to the producers of the film, Moss Film, it cost $9.2 million, which is around 55 million dollars today. Although estimates by the New York Times, the Annual Register and the Guinness Book of Records put the cost at around 100 million dollars. Approximately 700 million dollars today. A huge chunk of that went on the Battle of Borodino scene in part 3 of the series. This one scene was 60 minutes long and required tens of thousands of cubic meters of soil to be dug out. For the earthworks, hundreds of period correct Correct cannons, 23 tons of gunpowder, 40,000 litres of kerosene for the pyrotechnics, 10,000 smoke grenades, 1,500 trained horsemen, 120,000 extras and costumes for them all. The cost of this one scene alone, taking inflation into account, $100 million. That's more than it cost to make the Lord of the Rings Return of the King. Number 2. Matrix Reloaded Each Matrix film pushed the walls of what was possible with VFX a little further back. But in Matrix Reloaded, they had to go even further. For the scene where Neo has to fight hundreds of Agent Smiths, they had the technology to create hundreds of CG Agent Smiths, but they didn't have the technology to replicate his face. ESC Entertainment had to recreate hardware and software to solve this problem. This solution was called Universal Capture. Using five strategically positioned cameras, they took high definition photos of the actor's face, they could then triangulate each pixel's position and movement and then map this movement onto their 3D asset. The development of this groundbreaking technology and the VFX man hours needed to make it a reality meant that this scene alone ended costing a whopping 40 million dollars. That's the same as John Wick Parabellum's entire budget. Number 3 Speed 2 Cruise Control you may be surprised to see this movie here because it bombed at the box office. But just because it didn't make money doesn't mean they didn't spend it. $110 million was spent for a box office return of just $160 million. The film's cost wouldn't have been quite as high had director Jan de Bont opted to use miniature models or CGI for the climactic scene when the ship crashes into an island. But instead he built an actual town, a set with 30 25 buildings was built. Unfortunately, halfway through construction, it was destroyed by high winds and so had to be rebuilt with hurricane-proof buildings. This alone cost $5 million. Then a 150-foot, 270-ton replica of the bow of a cruise ship was made and a 1,000-foot long track was built just below the water's surface for it to ride on. The ship was pulled along the track by four diesel engines and designed to stop within six inches of the bell tower. The rest of the ship was added digitally in post. This entire scene lasted just five minutes with a total cost of $25 million, making it the most expensive and largest practical effect of its time. The original speed film cost $30 million to make, only slightly more than just this one scene. If you're enjoying this video, please give us a like and subscribe. Number four, James Bond Spectre. Martini, Omega Watch, Walther PPK and Aston Martin are some of the brands that are associated with James Bond. So it's not much of a surprise to hear that Aston Martin designed a car specifically for this film. The DB10 was hand built in Gayton by the company's design and engineering teams and only 10 cars were completed, 8 for the film and 2 for promotional purposes. 7 of these cars were destroyed during principal photography along with a Jaguar CX-75 
five and many others, the total amount spent just on destroying cars was $36 million. The most expensive scene to film in the movie was therefore the Rome car chase scene. The exact price is not known, but if you factor in permits to shut down and drive around the Vatican, Ponte Sisto Bridge, and the Roman Forum, and the cost of the destroyed supercars, and damages to motorbikes and other cars in the scene, the total cost is in excess of $15 million. Number 5. Swordfish on the face of it, Swordfish may not seem like a movie that would spend a huge amount of money on just one scene, but they did. It wasn't the human bomb scene, and it wasn't the scene where Halle Berry shows her bombs, even though she did get paid an extra $500,000 for that. It was the helicopter airlifting a bus scene, yep. That scene was mainly real. Apart from the crashing through the building shot, the roof landing shot, and the internal shots, everything else was done for real. As you can imagine, and this meant pre-visualizing where to place cameras, getting permission to place cameras on rooftops, permits, fees and insurance, and of course the actual cost of flying a helicopter that's lifting a bus. The whole scene cost 15 million dollars, three times what it took to make Billy Elliot for one scene. Number 7. Superman Returns in the opening scene of this film, Superman visits the ruins of Krypton, travelling there in a luminous crystal star. When he arrives, he finds a derelict planet and a huge Superman symbol, behind which he sees the green glow of kryptonite. Feeling himself getting weak, he flees. But his ship hits two kryptonite meteors and Superman gets weaker. Quickly he manages to program the ship to return to Earth just before he loses all his strength. This short 6 minute scene accounts for 100 of the film's 1500 VFX shots and apparently costs nearly 10 million dollars. If you're watching this clip thinking, I don't remember that scene, don't worry, you're not losing your memory. This scene was deleted and never made the final cut. 10 million dollars left on the cutting room floor. Which of these scenes surprised you the most? Comment below and if you reach the end, let us know.